The next tag in our web page structure is the open head tag. Similar to the HTML tag, the head tag must also have a corresponding closing tag. Note that anything contained within the open head and closing head tag will not be displayed visually within the content area of your browser. For a better understanding of the content area, let's preview this HTML page in our web browser to see what it looks like. To do that, click on Run. And in my case, I'm going to launch it in Google Chrome. You can select your browser from this list here. Here we can see what this HTML page will look like in our web browser. The content area is, this, is defined as this region of the browser window. The head tag contains important instructions for your browser. First, it identifies the title of the page. For this reason, the open title and closing title tags must be contained within the head tags. The actual title of the page should be contained within the title tags. The title of the page is displayed here. You can see that the title of this page is my first web page, and that corresponds to the text in between the title tags. The next set of tags contained in our head tags is the meta tags. Meta tags communicate with both the web browser and search engines to provide valuable information about your page. Let's start with the first meta tag. This meta tag is primarily intended for search engines. It's known as the meta name description. The description is followed by the content. It's the snippet of information below the link of a search result. The meta description describes the contents of the page to the searcher. The goal of a meta description is to persuade the searcher to click through to your website. If a meta description is not provided, the search engine will automatically generate one based on the content of your page. The next meta tag indicates the character set of the page. In this tag, the character set used is UTF-8. The explanation as to why the UTF-8 character set is used, among other alternatives, is fairly technical. To keep things less confusing, we've included some links for further reading on character sets. Next, we have the viewport meta tag. This is an important tag to include. Keep in mind that most users will not only view your web page through a computer screen, but also through a wide range of mobile devices. The viewport defines the user's visible area of a web page. The viewport varies depending on the device and will be smaller on a mobile phone than on a computer screen. The viewport meta tag gives the browser instructions on how to control the page's dimensions and scaling. The width equals device dash width sets the width of the page to follow the screen width of the device, which will vary depending on the device. The initial scale equals 1.0 sets the initial zoom level when the page is first loaded by the browser. This illustration provides an example of a web page without the viewport meta tag and the same web page with the viewport meta tag on a mobile device. Now that we've gone through some of the commonly used meta tags, let's go on to the next tag in our head tag, which is the open and close style tag. The code that is included within the style tags are referred to as style rules, and they define what is known as the pages cascading style sheet or CSS. The style sheet can be used to define the formatting of just about any element within your HTML document. They can be used to format anything from fonts, line spacing, font color, table borders, image opacity, and hyperlink effects. This course actually has an entire section devoted to CSS because of their importance and frequency of usage. For this reason, all you have to know right now is that the style sheet is located in the head tags. The style tag on this demonstration page has one rule, body, color, red. 
This means that all the text located in the body of this HTML document will be displayed in red. But we'll explore this in much more detail later on. The next block of code we see is a JavaScript function. Remember that JavaScript allows us to create interactive effects within web browsers. The head tag contains the JavaScript functions that will be called upon in the body of our HTML document. We've included a basic JavaScript function that will be used to convert the, a user's text input from lowercase to capital letters. We'll see the JavaScript function in action when we move on to the body section of this HTML document. Please note this course has an entire section devoted to JavaScript coding. So for now, we've only included a very basic example for demonstration purposes.